Good evening everybody, Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here with you for your weekly angel reading. Let me know if you're here, I will give you a few minutes to jump on the call. Please like and share with your friends, that would be really cool. Again, I've forgotten to put my pendant on, how funny is that? Itchy nose, Archangel Michael's in the house. Can't see any comments yet, so I'll just wait a minute. Please let me know where you live. Write in the comments what country. The key word for tonight is the word magic, M-A-G-I-C, magic. So write that in, that will trigger our angel bot Gabby to send you an extra card at the end of the call, which is really, really fabulous. I'll be announcing the winner of last week's angel scope and I'll be offering another one this week. So stay tuned from when I give you the go ahead. Oh, Sandy says, hello, yay. Facebook commenting is working. Thank you, top fan Sandy D Underwood. Hello. Um, yeah, and where do you live? Let me know. That's really cool. And I hope you have started the week well. Today is the 17th of February here in Australia. Thank you, Kate, for putting the word magic in the comments. And you're a top fan as well, starting off with the top guys here. So that is really, really great. Hi, Pearl. How are you going uh, downtown? Going well? I hope the children are well. Uh, thank you for the hearts. I really appreciate them. Ha, watch the wrong reading, LOL. Kate, don't worry. I've sent out a heap of emails the last two weeks with the wrong date on them. Doesn't matter. Hey, June, and hi, Marie. How are you? Lovely to have you here. Dear old nursing friend of mine, Marie Chester. Lovely to have you here as always, Marie. Hi, Andrea. How are you? Ladies, if you haven't joined me in my closed group, Manifesting Prosperity, and abundance for spiritual women please click the link in the description and go over there answer the three questions and i will see you in the group kate wrote joy from last week well she's still still expecting joy but this week's word is magic m-a-g-i-c thank you very much kate good for you okay so um we'll just wait for a few more please like and share the stream that's really good if you do let your friends know that i'm on live and we shall make a start. Pearl says, hi, all good, thanks. Hope you are well, Michelle. Yes, I am, thank you. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Michelle, and I am well. Thanks for asking. That's fabulous. Another top fan uh, is Andrea. I believe you're in my closed group, which is wonderful. And I'll be back in the group, um, hopefully by March. Um, I've got, I'm doing a writing project at the moment, so um, I'm aiming to get that finished and then I'll get into the group and start chatting to you more in there, which will be lots and lots of fun. Okay, so uh, let's start our reading for this week, the 17th of February through to Sunday the 23rd. Hello, Michelle and Lisa. Lovely to have you here. First of all, we're going to start with the Angel Feather Oracle, my beautiful 44 coloured feathers with angelic messages. If you don't have it, you need it. It's your best friend. It will be your best friend and it will never let you down. So here we go. We're going to shuffle these cards. We're going to draw five from that Oracle first for us. All this is a general reading. If you happen to come on to the call tonight and if you're a replay viewer, hello replay viewers. Hi Lisa and Cassandra. Um, and please uh, feel free to join my little competition, even if you are a replay viewer. Why not? Because you never know when I'm going to draw the winner. So let's choose five cards for this beautiful week. Okay, that's the Angel Feather Oracle. Now we're going to ask Archangel Michael to come in. Now he came in very quickly because I got an itchy nose straight away. Using my Archangel Michael Sword and Shield Oracle, beautiful Oracle, you, working with Archangel Michael. It's for stress relief and protection and guidance, that oracle. Very, very beautiful. And they work so well together. Hello, Lisa. It's evening here in Australia. So you're obviously not from Australia. So good morning to you. Hi, Belinda and Jade. Here we go. Cards have clumped. Always a sign that it's time to work our magic. Okay. Here we go. If you don't have either of my oracles, I'd love to choose a card. If you want to purchase it, you can purchase all my goods through my website, michellenewten.com. Glad to hear that most of the fires are under control. Oh, yes, thank God, Nora. I think Sydney Way, they're, they're, that rain they got up there solved that. Thank God. Oh, goodness me. It's been awful. We had that wonderful um, concert yesterday here in Australia. It was absolutely fabulous. 
I didn't get to watch the whole lot because I was working, but um, my husband did, and he, I watched the evening. It was just brilliant. So let's start our reading for this week, 17th of February through to Sunday, the 23rd. We've got a lot of healing here this week. We're just talking about the fires and how they're starting to come uh, under control. So this is very, very beautiful. It's the green angel feather, which is simple things. The angels would like you to take some fresh time alone to gain a fresh perspective of your life. So that's often, you know, this is about keeping things simple, not overcomplicating things this week, just, you know, not making mountains out of mole hills, that sort of stuff, and just keeping things very, very simple. It's also the colour green, which can be due to with your health, it can be to do with your money, and it can be to do with the environment and connecting with the environment, and maybe you need to spend some time outside getting some fresh air and or maybe going and supporting one of those businesses or towns that have been struck down by the fires would be brilliant. Uh, now, beautiful. And don't forget, Mercury goes retrograde, today 17th and it's a terrible mercury retrograde for don't sign anything don't sign any contracts don't make major purchases because it's in pisces so it makes you a bit wishy-washy it's mercury retrogrades monday the 17th to march the 10th so nothing major great time to get a bargain Really good time to get a bargain. Good time to go over things, revisit things, you know, rejuvenate yourself, finish old projects, that type of thing. People from your past can come back. I've already had two people, like actually just a couple of days ago, so the shadow comes in about a couple of weeks before. So I've had two people from the past that I haven't seen for a hundred years. Well, not literally a hundred, but you know, I'm not a hundred years old, but you know, like say 20 years, like just turn up oh hello how are you going oh okay that's what mercury retrograde does archangel michael on top of our keep things simple green angel feather is another green card so it's healing crystal healing in still peace Ar archangel michael is leading you to a healing crystal which will decrease your stress levels and instill feelings of peace so go for a green crystal oh glory be hold the bus Something like adventuring, green obsidian, malachite is a great, they're great stones. Um, so anything green would be great to work with a green crystal this week. Jade, another um, beautiful stone. So healing crystals we need this week and we, to stop us being overcomplicating things, okay? The area of challenge is the royal blue angel feather, which is chosen path found. But this is in challenge, okay? The angels would like to reassure you that you're definitely found your chosen path. Congratulations, you're right on track. But however, it's in challenge because so you won't really know that you're on track this week. Sorry. But you just won't. You'll wonder whether you are. You'll ask questions. That's what Mercury retrograde does. It makes you ask questions. Go over things. Check things. Revisit things. Redo things. Rejuvenate yourself. Yeah, so you won't quite know what's going on this week. But the angels, oh, sorry, I bumped my tripod. Oopsies. Um, Archangel Michael's protecting you, though, so don't panic about it. There's always next week. If you don't know whether you're on track, you will next week. Maybe not this, or oh, maybe, because it's still Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Let's just see. But Michael's protecting you. So this is physical body protection, golden mesh shields up. Archangel Michael suggests the golden mesh protection technique to bring security and harmony to your energy fields, okay? So that is in the area of challenge. So if you feel like you're a bit lost, you're not quite sure what's going on, just surround yourself with the golden mesh because that'll amp up your vibe, your vibration, and assist you to see what you're looking for, okay? Now, the area of the unknown, this is what I'm reading on now, is fresh eyes call in a third party. Funny I'm doing that this week. Archangel Michael requests that you consult a third party to assist you. Fresh eyes are required to objectively review an unfolding situation. So that could be your angel card reader. That could be your bank manager. That could be your financial planner. It could be a lawyer. It could be a health professional. Whatever you need. Could be your partner. Just read this for me, will you? It's not making sense to me. You need fresh eyes, another pair of eyes on something. It's on your hopes and wishes. So it could be to do with your business or a project you're working on, or it could be a relationship too. Like you might want to go and ask a girlfriend about it. 
So this is the peach angel feather, which is secret desire. The angels are aware of your innermost desires and dreams. Hand them over for safekeeping. And if you're wondering about something like that, that, you know, it's a long held wish, hope, dream that you have. It may be you haven't told anyone about it, but maybe it's time to actually tell somebody because this is the third party. Hello, Mel. Aloha. How are you on your lovely holiday? The turning point is... A blessing for your home, which is the pink rose, the rose angel feather is a blessing for your home. Beautiful card. The angels have heard your invitation to be present in and around your home. They are about to bestow a blessing of love, love on your home and its occupants. So that's in a turning point for you. And it's very beautiful for women because this is the uh, auric field protection, which is the protection rose. It's always to do with women. So, you know, you just might want to stay home this week. Just quietly, because um, you'll just feel happy there. Yeah. So the auric field protection rose. Archangel Michael guides you to visualize a beautiful protection rose to sit on the edge of your aura. And oh, good Mel, I can't wait. Oh, see, I've even done the cards around the wrong way. I've got to be excited, Mel. Um, so this is. Um, you just might want to stay home. You might want to be. You might want to spend time with your girlfriends. You might want to spend time with your mum, your sister whatever that's what could happen you just need to keep things simple outcome for us the silver angel feather connect with the moon the angels advise you to sit out and walk in the moonlight the moon's energies will light up your path and protect you on your way another goddessy feminine card here here we couldn't find the way forward we couldn't find the direction this is the challenge we couldn't find what we're looking for but in the end the I can't wait for you to get back to work either. I'm exhausted, <laughs> just quietly. Um, oh God, I've got cards going everywhere, Miss Mel. Um, they will light up something for you. So by the end of the week, the angels will shine the light down. Sorry, I'm losing cards here. Hold the bus, and you will find what you're looking for. Because, but not till the end of the week. You do need to get help though. Again, we've got another person we need to ask to show us the way forward. So get help. Call in the troops. Archangel Michael is here to lighten the load you're carrying. Thank you, Michael. You are guided to ask for help from family, friends and people around you. Yes, so it's a lovely reading. The gist of it is you just need to really just take a breath this week. Enjoy the simple things. Get outside. Get some nature into you. Don't stress too much if you're not sure about something. You, If you aren't sure about something, if you've lost something, you're not sure what to do, you don't know whether you're on the right track, get some help. Ask somebody else. It's a third party that comes in to help you. So you do need to ask for help. A lot of people can't ask for help. And you may feel comfort being around females this week. You may feel comfortable just being at home in your own house. You may feel comfortable, you know, just with your family, your siblings, your mum, your girlfriends, that sort of stuff. So look, it's a really, really nice energy here. And uh, crystals are really important to use this week. So wear your crystal jewellery um, and, you know, and nature. Yeah. And take your time. Don't rush this week. And don't make any major purchases, for goodness sakes. Not in this Mercury retrograde. Don't sign any contracts in this Mercury retrograde, please. Because it won't turn out well. Just wait till after the wait till the eleventh of March. It's only a couple of weeks. No big deal. You can you can usually push things off. What if I can't ask for help? Well, you need to learn how. You need to learn how to ask for help, Michelle. You just go. Can you help me? It's that. If you can't ask for help, it's 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 actually a sign of poverty consciousness. So when you step into being a rich woman, you'll be able to ask for help easily. Uh, and pick, like you love to help people, Michelle, I'm sure, but then you won't let people help you. I left all mine at home, so I had to buy a couple at St Kilda. I don't know what you're talking about, Mel. Um, very nice reading. Thank you, Lisa. Yes, yeah, so this is a really nice reading. So there's no biggies. There's no big, big challenges. Um, it's just, just, just take your time and just get some fresh air and stay home if you need to. 
go out with your girlfriends. You might want to talk to a girlfriend about a secret, something that's close to your chest, like, you know, personal. That could help. Someone's going to help you this week, though, so it's really, really nice. I'm off to, oh, talk about crystals, Mel, will you? I'm off to find my green crystals, yes, and have a chat to my angels. Yes, that's right. You can also chat to your angels. How do I, how do we get over fear? Feel the fear and do it anyway, is what Wayne Dyer would say. Oh, you left your crystals at home, Mel. Oh, now I know what you're talking about. Oh, mother of pearl, that's not good. You are welcome, Cassandra. So that is a very, very beautiful reading. Most of the time, what we fear is just not not true. It's just our little mind going crazy and making mountains. Out. I said that at the start of the reading. Don't make mountains out of molehills. That's what I said. So that's true. This week especially. Um, you are more than welcome, guys. Please pop the keyword. I'm here and I nearly forgot. Oh, Judith, don't forget me. That would be sad. Um, Michelle Newton, Aussie Angel Lady here with your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing and thank you for liking and giving me hearts. I love them. Especially tonight because I'm pooped. Um, both my girls went and had magical weekends in Melbourne and left me to it. Sons of lumps. Never mind, I'll forgive them. Forgiveness is very important. I hope you both had a lovely weekend, though, Sharon and Mel. Um, now... What am I saying? Beautiful coupon code for you for this week because I haven't had time to do another one. So forgive me. Angel 5. Angel 5 takes $5 off the magnificent Angel Scopes. 2020. You need it. It's amazing. Tells you all about your star sign. Over 30 page document with a month by month reading from me. So if you've got, you choose your star sign, Libra, Virgo, whatever you are. And the link's in the description. Go there. Put Angel number five in the shopping cart there's a thing that says coupon code pop it in there click apply takes five bucks off magical that, our words magic pop that in the comments so the link's in the description if you want to use that coupon code i'm going to extend it because uh yeah let's hope so melby's got pneumonia did you hear that poor elton oh, hope he gets better i've got to send him healing um I'm going to send Archangel Raphael to him ASAP. I'll be so sad if I can't go, but I can't help it if he's sick, the poor man. Anywho, um, he needs to get some nature and stop working so hard so I can go and see him on Saturday night. Angel Scopes, $5 off. Use the coupon code ANGEL5, the number five. Last week's winner, drum roll. Congratulations goes to Rosaline Walsh. Rosaline is a top fan. So, Rosaline, congratulations. You won last week's Angel Scope. I'll endeavour to contact you through last week's post. Uh, yes, he does. Ta-da! Um, and you've got 24 hours to claim that prize. Please email me, aokangels at gmail.com. And I strictly, strictly 24 hours from now, I do not have time to chase people. Um, please put the keyword magic in the comments if you'd like my angel bot to send you an extra card. That's really, really cool. So, um, yes, that's all from me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing. I really appreciate it. If you're on the replay, you can also enter this week's. Go ahead, put in your star sign if you want to win, but you must share every time you put a star sign in the comments. Hi, Angela from Geelong and Helen and Teresa. Um, so, yes, it's open for replay viewers as well. Thank you, Marie's already on it. She's put Taurus and shared. So good luck. Channel what I've written down here in my paper, people. Someone is going to be a winner next week. I'll announce it next week on the weekly reading. So take care. Have an amazing weekend. Everybody send prayers to Elton so that I can go and see him this weekend. Saturday. Archangel Raphael, please go to Elton John. <laughs> Michelle's a, Michelle wants to go and see him on Saturday night. Okay, because I've waited a long time. Anywho won't be the end of the world if he can't do it the poor man okay take care have an awesome week and i will see you soon here on my beautiful page bye bye